Hey everyone, it's Neil Patel here for another Q&A Thursday. I'm here with Adam LaDolce from Viewership. Hello everybody. <laughs> and this week's question is... All right, this is a really interesting one because uh, this is from Sankit and it's please discuss Facebook video monetization, which basically means Facebook is now paying creators to advertise on top of their videos. They're taking a little bit of a playbook from the YouTube playbook where YouTube pays their creators for video content. Love your thoughts. Yeah, it's in other words, it's an AdSense for videos. Yeah. Have you ever done it with your YouTube channel? I So I do it with my YouTube channel. So every video I release, we do run advertisements on that channel. Of course, we block any of our competitors from being able to run ads on our channel. But yeah, it's just a little bit extra money for the business and it kind of pays for editing and, and some extra stuff. Um, but it's certainly a very small percentage of the overall revenue of the business. So if you look at your YouTube channel, you get over a million visits or a million views a month. Yeah. If you had to give a range, how much income can you generate from AdSense? I'll just tell you. So you get about $2,000 to $2,500 per thousand, uh, per million views. So it's not that much money. Um, however, it depends on your channel and your audience, right? Let's say you have a golfing channel that, that and Rolex wants to advertise on top of your channel, you're probably gonna make a lot more from those million views than let's say a relationship advice channel. So it does depend on your audience. But in general, in general, the monetization isn't that great compared to what no. you can make on your own. Yeah. Whatever Facebook offers, and I don't know the number because I hate monetization from AdSense type of platforms, from whether it's Google AdSense or YouTube ads, or it's Facebook putting ads on your videos, I do not like it. It just doesn't make as much money compared to monetizing yourself. Right. So Adam's main traffic comes from uh, YouTube. Yeah. And that's what you're known for, YouTube marketing, you have a relationship channel as well, in addition to his marketing-based channel. Mm -hmm. As he mentioned, he gets over a million views a month. Right. Now when you send that traffic, when you are sending it, when you're first starting, because right now you have a website, you're ranking on Google, you're getting traffic. Yeah, thanks, well, at, at the beginning though, yeah. when you didn't have a popular website, you just had a YouTube channel, how much could you generate selling info products? Because you used to sell eBooks yeah. on the site, just from the traffic from your YouTube channel. Just from YouTube? I mean, anywhere from 10 to 20,000 a month. So just think about it. He put in a little bit of effort, 10 to $20,000 a month versus the two to 2,500 he was getting from YouTube. Right. Now that doesn't mean you can't do one or the other or both. Like it can't, right? You sell both the info products and he has an AdSense type of ads. It's just extra money for him. Right. I'm a big believer you just drive everyone to the main source of your income and double down on that. Because the last thing you want people to do is click over and go to someone else's website when they could be clicking over going to your website and buying your products or services. It definitely, and it, it totally, again, depends on what industry you're in, right? Like, I always say that you should be making at least 10 times more from selling your own stuff than you'd ever get paid from YouTube or Facebook, right? But if you're in, let's say, Neil space, I mean, if he turned on ads, it would be ridiculous because he could, he's probably making a thousand times more from the audience than if he ever turned on, you know, AdSense or Facebook. So it depends. And for viewership, for my other YouTube channel, I would never turn on my, advertise, on my advertisement because it doesn't make sense. You know, you make so much more from the audience itself. But in general, the way you have to look at it is if someone is advertising on your own video, whether it's through Facebook or YouTube, one, they're paying the company, the network, YouTube or Facebook. Two, they're taking a huge cut. Three, whatever portion you're getting, sure you're keeping it, but it's not as high compared to if you sold your own product or service. Four, you need to keep in mind, the person who's paying to advertise, if they keep advertising in the long run, not only are they paying a bigger fee than what you're seeing because of the middleman taking a cut, but they're making a killing because they have to recuperate their costs from whatever product or service that they're selling. So if you turn on ads, you should also look at who are the people advertising, what are they selling, and can you take ideas from that and create your own product or service? Now I'm not saying YouTube ads, Facebook ads suck, because some people are too lazy to create their own products, keep updating their site, put in the time and effort to do support, whatever it may be. If that's you, then just create videos because that's what you love doing. But if you want to make more money, you need to create your own products or services. And I think that goes to a certain point though. There are really two types of people in the world and you want to be both if you can, but there are creators and there are business people. 
maybe you're just a creator. I know some people who are great at making videos, but they, they're not good at business and they never will be. Maybe Facebook monetization, maybe YouTube monetization makes sense. However, if you're business minded and you can create even a basic product, absolutely do it. It is so worth your while. So. Yeah, the only time I've really seen monetization from like YouTube or Facebook make sense is if you're kind of like um, internet type of celebrity like the Logan and Jake Paul. Yeah. Where I don't even know what their videos are about. Is there, there's not really a theme. It's just like their day in their life. And I'm not trying to talk crap. No. It. It's like good for them. They figured out how to do, you know, become popularity minus the controversial videos that they've created. Totally. But if you exclude those, they've built up a huge brand and a huge presence. And I don't know how they would monetize other than being a quote unquote influencer, getting paid to promote products or slapping up ads. If you're going to create a channel, you ideally don't want to create a channel that's like the day in the life of and monetize that way. You're better off creating a channel on a specific topic like dating or marketing because it's much easier to monetize and make money. Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, Logan and Jake Paul, they'll sometimes make their own advertisements over their channel. So they'll pay to advertise to their viewers and then sell like merch and obviously promote other products and things like that. So technically they're probably not paying. They're probably well, not paying. Yeah. Other people are paying them yes. to be in the ad. A lot of money, by the way, to endorse certain products and things like that. Yes. yes those guys correct. make like a million a month or something like that. That was a reported number. More than that, yeah. But it's good for them. But they're like the 0.01%. Yeah. There's way more people like Adam or I who know how to make money just by creating a channel, making it popular within your niche, and it's more consistent and it's easier. Being the Logan and Jake Paul, the problem with that model is either you're extremely popular and you'll make money. If you're in between or somewhat popular, you won't see much money at all. Yeah. So that's it. Thank cool. you for watching this week's Q&A Thursday video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you want your comment or question more so answer on next week's Q&A Thursday video, leave a comment below. Either way, I'll respond and answer it. Thank you for watching. Share, comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate everything.